Now, this picture was taken in March of 1964 during an interview with Life magazine. He kept this gun under his couch. During the interview, there was a rustling outside. Malcolm reached under his couch, he grabbed the gun, he went to the window. The photographer doing the interview snapped this photo. Mm. Now, they took a bunch of other photos, but this is the photo that got the most promise. Right. That's why this photo became famous. In September of 1964, now understand Malcolm died February of 1965. September of 1964, Ebony Magazine republished this very picture as well. But this picture is always associated with these words by mm -hmm. any means necessary. These words in this picture don't oh, necessarily go together. And I'm going to explain what these words mean because people confuse what these words actually mean. Now, Malcolm in 1963 had traveled through Africa. He also had went to Mecca. Yeah. This is when he came back reformed. Now, in Africa, he met with world leaders. Those world leaders explained to Malcolm what he needed to do to change the condition of blacks in America. So Malcolm came back with a plan. Now over there, they had created in 1963 this group called the Organization of African Unity. Are you familiar with this history? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Organization of African Unity was a conglomerate of leadership in Africa. And Malcolm understood that and came back here. When he came back here, he created the Organization of Afro-American Unity. During one of his speeches, he used this word by any means necessary, and he used these words to explain his point with the Organization of Afro-American Unity. But the Organization of Afro-American Unity was very important to black people in America. Most of us can't That's say right. our, our nation's state of origin. Facts. Mm -hmm. But when I see the white folks come through here, I ask them, where are you from? What's your lineage, your heritage, your descendancy? Rattle that junk off. Irish, native, Swedish, German, Dutch, Italian, all of that. Yeah. In 1954, the Geneva Convention, I believe it was 1954, mm -hmm. the Geneva Convention for the UN took place and they created the Commission for Human Rights. The Commission for Human Rights was designed after Adolf Hitler had assassinated all these Jewish people. Now, Adolf Hitler was one of the first people in recent modern history with cameras and radio that there's documentation of a man killing whole groups of people because he didn't like their ethnicity, mm -hmm. who they were. We charged genocide here in America, went to the UN Commission for Human Rights, and they took a document. That document had all of the lynching that America had done as far back as they could document. And they took it to the UN and said, and W.B. Du Bois was a part of this group as well, and he said that they wanted to charge genocide on the United States. That's right. We charge genocide. Well, that got critical acclaim across the world, but in America, only one person covered the story, nobody else. Mm. So. 2012, we fast forward. Trayvon Martin gets killed. Skittles, tea, all that stuff we know about it. Mike Brown gets killed. Mike Brown gets killed, and Mike Brown's mother says, I'm going back to the UN. And she connects with, we charge genocide. Mm -hmm. Together, they go to the UN, and they say, we want to talk to the Commission for Human Rights because we believe that all these systemic killings of black men in America is a nod to genocide. And mass incarceration, and all the things that we're seeing, and again, it gets critical acclaim, everybody hears about it, but then nothing happens afterwards. Now here we are, it's 2020, we got the killing of George Floyd, protests, rallies, all of this stuff. And again, people are saying we need to go back to the UN and have this conversation again. Yeah, right. But let's go back in history just real quick. If there were 50 Irish men killed as fast as black men and women are being killed, those 50 Irish men can go to Ireland first Say, Irish government, the Irish people in America are suffering. The Irish government will back them and then go to the UN. So it won't just be a bunch of people going to the UN from America. It'll be Irish people. Mm. The thing is, black people, when we go to the UN, we're fighting for civil rights because our jurisdiction makes us Americans having to deal with American courts. Mm -hmm. We don't have a nation state of origin, so we lose in the fight for human rights, That's right. which is what Malcolm died with, was human rights. So what Malcolm did was he created a charter. He created a charter, charter for his organization called the Organization of Afro-American Unity. In that charter, he started to espouse what it meant to be an Afro-American in America. So he said, in his speech at the end, he said, We declare our right on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being on this earth, on this day, in this society in which we choose to bring into existence by any means necessary. Then afterwards, he ends it with, sorry I took so long. 